And fireworks are dazzling thousands all over southeastern Wisconsin, from West Bend to Racine and beyond. There were plenty of fireworks to light up the skies. Good evening, everyone. Happy Fourth of July. I'm Carol Meekins. The skies are illuminated in dozens of cities in honor of our nation's birthday. Happy Fourth of July. Katie Kaylee Starl is at Mitchell Park in Milwaukee, where families gathered for a dazzling show on this Independence Day. Kaylee. Hi, Carol. The fireworks here at Mitchell Park ended not too long ago. There's definitely still some fireworks going on around us, but here at Mitchell Park, there's families that are just hanging out, spending time with each other. Some have started to pack up their things and head home after a long day in the sun. Regardless, many I spoke with said it was a successful holiday filled with family, friends, and of course, a little food. The first rally is already gone. At Moon Duanvillai's 4th of July celebration, there's plenty of rice to go around. That's our culture. If you allow people, you cannot leave party or go to the party without sticky rice and a paya salad. Bringing their culture to celebrate America's culture. You got American food too. <laughs> you got mashed potato, oh awesome. macaroni salads over there. Across Milwaukee, the food of the 4th is drawing people together. He's cooking up everything. This is the sun. I call him Master Chef. Both families out Tuesday for the city of Milwaukee's 4th of July fun. Happy 4th of July! At parks across the city, more grills. We're going to barbecue. We're going to play some games. More sports and more love. We love family here. That's the importance. It's the family. It's the time you get to spend with your family. Even a little rain. We're like, oh my God, it's going to rain all day. And then I was like, yeah, you have to sing the Mr. Sun song. Couldn't stop the smiles. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Gun Sun. Beyond the blankets and smells of sausages, the Duan Valai say the 4th is a day for family. It's family time. It's been a while since we've all been together, so this is a nice opportunity to get to do that. And just being here tonight is a reminder that for many in the Milwaukee area, the 4th is not just about celebrating America's birthday. It's about spending time with family and loved ones. For now, reporting at Mitchell Park, Kaylee Starr, TMJ4 News. It's always good to see families come together. Kaylee, thank you very much. And Milwaukee celebrates Independence Day with community events all over the area. Mayor Cavalier Johnson made the rounds to several events today. We first saw him at Alcott Park near Beloit Road and Morgan Avenue on the city's southwest side. Also, people were busy having fun in St. Francis for a parade there. It all stepped off from the St. Francis Civic Center and delighted people of all ages, and we even saw some beauty queens. And the dancing grannies stole the show at Waukesha's 4th of July parade. Now, some of the dancing grannies were taking part for the first time since the Christmas parade tragedy in 2021. Four of the six who died in that attack were part of the group. Dancing grannies got a standing ovation as they strutted past the crowds. Today is the first day that I've actually been back to the parade route to see where the car went through um, our grannies and, you know, where a couple of people passed. And I haven't been back here, so um, it was very emotional. But, but today is a day of building brand new memories. And the parade also included the Granny's new friends, the 610 Stompers from New Orleans. The Stompers invited the Grannies to the Mardi Gras parade back in March. And you may have seen some of TMJ4's own earlier at many of the parades. Our Lance Allen was at Bayview and the Humboldt Park parades today. Tom Durian and Bruce Harrison were both in the Wauwatosa Parade, and Tom was also in the St. Francis Parade. And our Steve Shamraz rode in the Whitefish Bay Parade. And you may have seen the storm chaser rolling down the streets in the Waukesha Parade. So 